We continue on. Production of RPG. Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. Well, let's get something pumping going. Actually, let's just go ahead and pick up storyline where we were. Quite a few save files here, playing through some things. Same one. Where we left off. Nikki and my brand have teamed up with Ernst and we found Ozzy along the way. We were looking for Joao in the east. And he's here, in Zipangu. We have a cat. So here at Mount Fuji, we cross the mountaintop and then dove into the volcano, reaching down here. Where we found Joao. So I've reworked how a lot of these skills work. Go work. For example, Homebrew now does 50% heal and adds region, but it's more expensive. This run using Soldier, Fencer, and Chemist, it seems. They did a three Druid run. It's good to see things are still viable regardless of composition. And that's really ideal for the setup I have going here. I didn't pick up any talismans this run.
Howdy, Sethmon. We'll go ahead and let him show off a bit more of what he does. He debuffs you a lot, but Ernst can solve that with Bomb. He powers up, which you could then take care of. How are you today? Ah, not enough for Vampire Tooth. Beautiful. And this battle being the culmination of... What did I mark this as? This would be the culmination of Act 2. Well... Really is Act 2, Scene 3. So it's not the culmination of Act 2 entirely. But by now you've had your classes and this is their test to see if you've understood what is being asked of, asked of you. Yeah, absolutely, Dirty Bones. That's what I'm here for. I can, anything I can answer, I will. And if you're using a druid, you could use Demon Dance to get rid of his buff. Let's give him the Amsterdam Slam. This is a 1 in 6 chance of it happening. It's happened 3 times now. Lucky there, Ozzy. That's just the chemist's desperation attack is extra supplies. It cuts everyone's MP cost in half. For as long as they stay alive or the battle. Or the battle ends. I have quite a bit of Yanfly. 
In fact, save there. Let's pop open the plugins and action sequence. Yeah, I have a pack one, two, and three. Small text bubble above an object. Best source, I don't care. Yes, I have seen that particular plugin. That is a different plugin for um, Ganfly. Let's pop open the. Uh, go ahead and pop that open. I don't have that particular one, but I do. I do know what you're talking about, and I can definitely link to that. Let's see. I have to type in Yamply RPG Maker MV plugins. I like that particular plugin that you mentioned there. Um, it seems really neat. The only downside is that I feel like it would clutter my game because I'm using such... The aesthetic of my game is just ports. So if every two steps you run into another text bubble... If you were using much larger... <clears throat> is Mog Hunter the one that's like in Portuguese or something? All right, so let's drag this over here and let's find it. Not that one. There we go, the gab window. Is this what you're looking for? With the gab window... These texts, <clears throat> pardon me. So like when you walk by it, it'll advertise for that. Something like that. You walked by the person, they said a thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, that's pretty neat. Yamfly has a lot of really neat things going on there. Setup action. And what will that do, Sethmon, for my basic attack? Because I know I've looked into... Where is it? I tossed them in here somewhere. Yeah. I looked into it, and I saw one Mog one that looked neat, the weather extensions. The SRD one, I found a few that was interesting. Let's see, I've already done that, so I can delete that. There we go. My to-do list here. At some point, I might look into the t SRD one. Smooth camera would be really useful, because sometimes they seem to be a bit chunky. Oh, is that not the one you were referring to there? Let's dive back in. Zoom out just a bit. Item, web, status menu. I have a few of these. I, I do also have some plugins in that I don't, I'm not using yet.
I wonder how this one works. I just did this recently with a side quest for stealth without a... I just did it with switches though. The whole command lets my character move. Like, run over to the enemy and hit it. And hit them. Hmm. That was interesting. Let's go ahead and copy-paste this and see how it looks. Copy. Paste. Is it okay that it's all in one line? <laughs> Does it need a break? One way to find out. Hey, Nikki, you're back. I don't think it appreciated it being all in one line. How can I... Where, where does it want the line breaks? I like that there's a zoom there. That, that sounds like it would look really neat, Sephmon. Did I do something... Did I do something wrong there? Want me to find out. William. If was anything Malay on a book. Let's try that again. Hmm. Did that not work? According to plan. Or did I copy and paste it wrong? Hmm. So where does it want the breaks? Would I also find this under the plugins? Is that a custom thing you put together, or can I just copy and paste from here? I have to play test first. Very well. Let's do that. Just grab anywhere. Just to confirm that it it wants it's doing what I oh. Right. Okay. Jump in, close it. Battle test, see if this changed it. Not yet. Or does it just not want to do it in the battle test? I don't want... Give me one that's in a better spot. Yeah, on a boat. Give me an encounter. And that was no longer saying attack when I attack. So it's doing something. It's just to confirm. Grab all of this. And all of it. Cut and no, oh, there was more to it. Hold on. All the way down. Uh 
cut and paste this anywhere else so I don't lose it. Run that through another battle test because I'm pretty sure all I did was take off attack when I. Yeah. He wasn't moving at all now. There's a link. All right. Loading. That's quite some load times. Huh. My computer doesn't have load times. There we go. That was weird. Requires I'm using... Well, let's go ahead and check the requirements. Maybe I'm not using all of them. Requires you're using Core Engine, Battle Engine Core, Action Packs 1, 2, and 3. And they're all here, they're all on in that order. It's this code. Let's try it like this. Copy and paste. But how does it know? How does it know that I'm using a ranged weapon? Does it just automatically make certain things ranged? Then no immediate crash. That's a good start. Test that with William and Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you take a gun. Go get him. Alright, there's one downside to that. I don't know if you caught that. But, uh, it didn't zoom back out. Hmm. Will it just keep going further and further in? No, it won't just keep going in. That would have been hilarious if it just kept zooming in on his face. Little by little. The joy of plugins. Hmm. Hmm. F him up. Well, that looks neat. That'd be a lot of zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Now, reading this, there's no zoom out at the end. Oh no, Dickie's starting to sing some per Was that Persona, right? <laughs> hmm. People will be jumping around a lot. I would be okay with this without the zoom. Can I just delete the zoom? That would just... I think that would fix the problem I, I don't want from this. Let's get rid of the camera focus. try that. My very limited experience in actual scripting. Jump in. Dive out. Smack him with a book. Wait a moment. Alright, you're no longer diving in. I can't just delete the, uh, the zoom. On the other hand, that got rid of 
saying attack when I attacked. Might work with the sword. It's just not reading the book properly, you're thinking? Alright, let's use a sword. Pop him on the head. No, and this is back. Hmm. Why would that set up action display? Check if it's a missile. If it is, move forward. Otherwise, motion. Actually, nothing in this actually says go up to him and hit him on the hit him in the face. Like nothing I'm reading here actually says go punch the man. Sephmon had an idea. Was it different in the prompt you gave me? If it's a missile, move forward. Otherwise, zoom the camera and attack is normal. But it never says zoom back. I guess I could add a zoom out. That one's working for your game? That's making them run up, hit, and run back with the camera zooming in, zooming out. I feel like that would make some people a little um, nauseous. <laughs> Wouldn't want to make anyone seasick. Oh, that's right, you set up... Um, yeah, you set these up here as missile. I could try watching the video. Where did I put that one? There you go. Watching tutorials. Let's watch YouTube on YouTube. Well, oh, on Twitch. With gaming, and this is going to be um, some free action sequences that you can use for your RPG Maker MV project. So at driftwoodgaming.com, I've updated the app. You know, if you're using a ranged weapon, you'll just shoot from. Your dude is standing. huge. Um, the first one, guard breaker. It's gonna have you. Uh, at the size of that man. On your enemy. Or uh, they're zoomed in, and he's very a, tiny. An ability. He is very tiny. Uh, rage lance is like a four hit combo. Just run around, and you can always change these actions, uh, action sequences to fit however you want it to be. Pretty simple action sequences, um, but I notice a lot of the games that people send me, you know, are missing some action sequencing. So I thought I'd make it a little bit easier for you guys to add a little bit of action sequencing to your uh, your moves and abilities. And then uh, once you have something to work with, you can modify it so that it looks cooler and uh, has. Well, let's look effects. at his actual. Does like he show what he actually so just puts get those in. three plugins installed or four? Uh, five plugins installed actually and uh, a list of action sequences so for the attack one right here you you uh, click on attack you're gonna highlight uh, right underneath uh, I don't understand why this would work because it, this doesn't actually say move top so that people can uh, no, really nothing in this videos, command uh, is telling him to do telling his character to do anything out. basic attack Display the action. Check to see if it's a missile. If it is, move up, shoot, and go back. Otherwise, if it's not a missile, zoom the camera in. Zoom the camera. Wait till it's done moving. We'll just that all makes guess. sense. See what see the bottom. Show me the bottom. Attack normal. Show the animation. Have the effect and then move back. User command line moves the player, but that's not on else. Move user is this is the one that's moving him. 
So I don't understand why this we'll would just work. Take a look at say guard breaker. And later on, I'm going to add this video up at the top so that RPG Maker MV, and you click on that, and then you see action. Because the only movement he has at all is the four missile. It doesn't actually have the jump in a move two. You'd have to add in yourself where to go. Okay, let's just copy this. We will dump this into another note. There you go, that's now on my to-do list. If there's any plug-in, actually there's one plug-in I'll, uh, I'm actually interested in. I would like to have an attract mode in the title screen. I know that existed in, what was it, VX? Where if you hung around on here, you it would script to go to a scene that you had. So if, if an attract mode plugin appear somewhere, that would be pretty neat to think about. I mean, making. Let's just confirm that deleting, playing things around. That's a pretty cool uh, little character there. Yeah, yeah, this still works. Good. Shoot him with a gun. We're all good. where we were in the story. Grant met up with Joao. Helped him with dealing with this guy. Joao got a Mr. Medallion. Since last time, I've gotten a, a lot of bought a lot of music for the game steam was having like an 80 percent off sale for dlc and i went a little nuts You got the free heal. Yes. We have enough, enough JP, 25 JP for a skill. We have enough for the next one. Finally thought of an eighth soldier skill. Drain Blade. You see it on Faisal earlier, then you get it. Your physical attack heals you. Not enough on Ozzy there. is a lot different than that, fellas. Takes the screen.
Yeah, I gotta paste that in very shortly. Here we have our final battle with Catalina. Well, yeah, final battle with Catalina. Yeah, I got a neat pack of Spanish strings music. Danger mode. Nice. Okay, need to know. I've never actually encountered that. Percentage based attacks round up or round down. We had one, got hit with a percentage based attack, and did zero instead of one. Yeah, a whole bunch of people got new theme songs. Rather than using what just comes with the game. And reappropriate some for other places. And a new portrait. Signifying the next chunk of the game. You're officially out of the intro. Hey, you could stick around the Pacific and Indian Ocean doing the side quest that you may have put off. Or talk to him to head back to England. He'll head back to Europe. Actually head back to Lisbon and Portugal. There we got Duke Leon Franco. You got jo Joao's dad. Going to catch the player up on where we what, what's gone on so far. Now that you've met pretty much all the players of the game. That doesn't actually do anything. Can't bring your laptop to school because it's slowing your game progress? Oh, you can't bring it to school. It's slowing your progress. Well, you should probably be focusing on schoolwork if you're in school, right, Nikki? Oh, I hope you don't live in Colorado. Yeah, America has a bit of a pro- I don't know if it's a problem anywhere else in the world, but America is, is having a bit of a problem, um, with the kids in school. Yeah, 
It's May. School's almost over, right? So Duke Franco's wife is the daughter of King Manuel of Lisbon. And you don't have to talk to them. You could just jump right into eating. I put this table together. It makes me hungry to look at it. Absolutely, Nikki. You have very talented friends. Like when Heroic Cypher was on here showing off what they were drawing. Here, you could skip the cutscene, or you can ask. There's questions you may have. Backstory for Rocco. Foreshadowing to future the future events. You may not be familiar with Atlantis. Joao looking for it. up on my other monitor. There are some badly talented people in the world. The Joao, unlike his father, actually believes that Atlantis is real. I mean, it's good art. That looks like something a, a pre-sketch you'd see for like another game I want. I'm gonna play at some point. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. I'm I'm not an artist. Pen and paper does not look nice when it ends up in my hands. That's what. That's what Joao's saying. The Francos send their men out in the world to get them some sailing and real life experience. Go look for Atlantis. And then they come back and they take they take the roles. Joao now has the Mystic Medallion. He believes it's related to Atlantis. His father is not so optimistic. Rocco the Bear. Rocco sailed with Leon Franco ages ago. And if you didn't pick up Raja over here on the way, this place would be empty. And you don't have to sit through any of that. You could at any point just say, nah, I'm good.
but Ernst is leaving and taking his boat with him. But at this point, we're gonna be a little trapped. Oh, cat. We're kinda just stuck in Lisbon for now. Let's check out the bar. New world. We'll very shortly have a boat, which we can then use to sail the entire world. But the game is warning you, you might not want to do that. Go everywhere just yet. You could. Yeah, sure, go for it. And Joao says get some rest. Lisbon will still be here in the morning. Let's get some rest. And Joao should be gone. He is. Here we could buy some alcohol. We're not any. Uh, yeah, sure. Pick up a little bit of wine. Do we have any loot? We do. All of this symbol, as explained earlier, is just loot for selling. Here at the guild. Surely it can't be real. If you're not great at geography, just signpost man to tell you how to get places. We had a quest to come here. We can finally fulfill that a couple hours later. And here you can buy the next tier of equipment, which was also out in Zipangu. I think we're fine at the moment. We're fine at the moment? Yeah, we're fine. We have steel gear. Uh, Duke Ander and Otto have arrived. So everyone has decided it's time to stop this war between England and Spain. Portugal was kind of caught in the middle. So Otto's fleet, the Portuguese navy, we're all going to meet up, bait Catalina and trap her. And we're ready. Did I not put an item shop in Lisbon? I did not. That's fine. Now, Joao is a new theme as well. So the Straits of Gibraltar.
The Strait of Gibraltar is a real place. Um, Strait of Gibraltar separates the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. Right here. Very important strategic map. Oh, there's also been... I've also improved some geographical notions of the map. Little by little, this will become more and more pretty and populated. In Spain... At this point in the, in the life cycle, it would be like Spain, Morocco, but yeah. It's about here. I Nowadays... Who controls... That's where Europa I was trying to mess around with. Who has current control of Gibraltar? So it's currently under uh, British rule, actually. Yeah, so here, like I was saying, you have a... Uh... I lost it. Lost the map. Get back here. You got Spain on the north and Morocco on the south. That bring the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. But according to Wikipedia here... The British government. See, the Brits have had it since 1713, according to uh, the Brit. The Brits have had the the Gibraltar itself is this tiny peninsula. The Strait of Gibraltar is all of this. But apparently, Gibraltar has the British have a little naval base right here on the strait. Costa del Sol. The place in Final Fantasy VII. So that, that that's a his, there's a history of Strait of Gibraltar. In this current time, in our 1500s, in my fantasy historical fiction world, uh, you've got Spain, Seville here, capital of Spain, only town of Spain, um, Morocco, which just sand, a lot of sand, stretching eastward to Tunis and well, Algiers and Tunis. So we're going to meet up here where it gets a little bit foggy sometimes a year. As you as happens when you have ocean and sea smacking into each other across land. Fog being signified by a wee bit of gray overtone. But even if we pull this off, we still have questions. Right, I did notice that there was no item shop in Lisbon. We put one here. So we're on Joao's boat. We're not planning on fighting Catalina this time, because that hasn't gone well before. She's very angry. So instead, we're just going to trap her and surround her, chi her ships. Ship. A pot, uh, quote unquote, ships. It's unclear how many she has. Eh, 
and this flavor. You don't have it. Doesn't make a difference. But with the options starting to appear, you start to get more and more abilities to shape your hero here. He's a little. He's a little upset about the scar and Catalina trying to kill my brand. I've had an under-the-hood morality system going, although there hasn't been too much to it. It's going to really start to ramp up on your choices. Right, just get some rest. Perhaps he's even starting to question this whole process. I never changed this music. Yeah, this is fine. This time we face off just against a couple henchmen and Catalina's first mate. Unfortunate crit. And if you never didn't pick up Raja, you'd be doing this with just the two of you. me, what does Pirate Poison supposed to do? Oh, 70, 70, 70, and none of them hit. Well, he is protected against poison right now. He has a lot of uh, the chemist abilities and some of the druids. He's just meant to be the support character. Knowledge Bomb just does flat damage, ignoring defense. Your level times. Uh, For the enemy, it's just 150, assuming his level, the enemy's level is static. 
Yours is times 15. I felt like that's a fairly, that's pretty fair. Like damage scaling. Here, first big morality decision. How angry are you at this man for how annoying he's been? You could leave and go deal with Catalina, or... Could, you could kill him, and then he'd be dead. Still up in the air what exactly I want the morality system to inevitably do. I have an idea that it could influence the plot. It's certainly going to influence equipment that you get at some point. Where did I? Currently thinking about things. If you go neutral, light or dark. Could affect the way people look at you. I have ideas. And hey, this is our room. Way back in London. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Get that guild reward. You got... Oh. Some point picked up these. Here. We got a bunch of battle items. Oh, let's visit the prison warden. Throughout your adventure, anyone you take hostage start to populate this area. A mime is a terrible thing to waste. Remember Secret Simon? We're here to talk to this guy. Right, so this guy was in Ireland. We don't have a boat right now, so let's go talk to Dad and the King. King Henry, I would like more... I would like more portraits for kings. Just need another man with a crown. Preferably two more men with crowns. And we're being granted a boat. So Frank, two Franco's a lead on the person who abducted us, and Ernest von Vorwash wants to see us.
we were reaching the current part that is actually made. Here we have a lovely sign postman. How do you get to the capitals? London, Seville, Lisbon, Istanbul, Genoa. And here will be to remind me to make it. An on the boat cutscene. Reviewing the current tasks. Visit Ernst over here in Amsterdam. Visit Duke Franco and check on Joao in Lisbon. Check on Catalina in Seville. Bordeaux. Lisbon. Seville. Hmm, did not fix this. Will do. We need to change the music here, too. New music for Seville. This was currently in the works as of last night. Did not put the boat in the right place. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I can fix this. Okay. It's fine. We've gone adrift. We do need to do. I've actually done this. Go to Ireland. Over here in Dublin. A new status ailment. Malediction. Under if any character is inflicted with malediction, cannot heal. Regen will still work. The healing effects will have no will have zero. Well, they won't have any effect. Here, as you can, this will be your example that some ports make them worth going to, exploring. Some sell sp special things. For example, here, you have the basic steel tier equipment for each of the advanced classes there. But more importantly, you can find the claymore here. Which is a tier even above the next one for swords. Enabling use of a shield again. Get beefy. Hefty price, but you have the money at the moment. You could sail around buying all the best stuff, but odds are you wouldn't be able to afford it. So the guard said that he was on the sh he was on the shore by the harbor, ah, and there's his trinket. Redeliver that back to him. Oh, and here whiskey is actually cheaper here than anywhere else in the world. It's made here. It's Irish whiskey. There are encounters on the sea. It was the prison warden. Here, enjoy your rock. The firm that did remove the rock. It was there. I didn't show it, but it was there. If you forget what you're doing, you can head back to the throne and That'll remind you. Wait, no. Guild. Five missions per capital city. The final one unlocking the next one. So 3,000 gold for that little fetch quest. Bandits.
would be wise until you have good equipment and a full team. So now that the world has opened up to us, having a boat and the world is open to us, This is as far as I've gotten, actually. Let's check out the Mediterranean. I could, you know, make the, the Alps good. I'm holding down control, I don't want to get into an encounter right now. There's my approximation of Italy. My approximation of Greece, the Balkans, Istanbul, did not mean to go in here, but yeah, there's, there's up to this, up to current date, not fully up to current date because we do have this section for the guild mission. I want to make it so you can what I didn't do. Howdy, hunting swan. Good to see you back. So this is a optional stealth section. I want to quickly add in a... And you could even do the, you know, this part in the game could be pretty difficult. I could make it so it resets this whole thing, but I'm okay with it. if you want. really wanted to do this in chunks, you could. Would that even work the way I just confirmed this would indeed toggle back and forth? Let's hunt some bandits using cover of night. Now that will not do what I wanted to do. One moment. And yes, I'm going to need to do a fade out. Put that there. A fade out, I want to wait just a moment. Print the screen back to normal. Fade in. That should do it. Confirm we can leave. Yes. And we can go back in? Yes. Okay. Why are you not fading in the second time? Right. The switches. Let's do that with this kind of switch then. Full switch. Um, toggle. You will toggle, you will take the toggle, and then this will turn off the toggle. That should return back on that event. Too tough for me, let's get out of here. 
Nah, we're, we're actually fine. Let's go. Okay, that works now. You will want an actual item. Take the orb. Okay, the screen after the transfer. Is that not what I did? Yeah, I did that right here. The problem was that the tinting for this screen to make it nighttime, I had an auto auto run with a self switch. So once I did it once, it wasn't gonna do it again when I came back. But I just had to make it an actual switch. Well, I don't want to erase the vent. The thing is, I want to be able to leave and come back. If the player comes here right away, this might be a bit much for them. So I want them to be able to come back and forth. Stealth. Morality choices. I just knock them out. Do we happen to have this next part? You could avoid this fight if you happen to be holding any poison moth powder, which I'm actually not. I've used all mine up, but we will have to fight. So that could have been avoided had I had any poison moth powder in my pocket. Here, the leader's tent is just right over there, but... It would be three sequential battles. Let's stealth. Quote unquote, stealth. feeling especially sassy you could just fight everyone you pass could go through there or just walk around player's decision you choose your own difficulty curve
Oh, power nap. Absolutely you would go take a nap. These people are bold. Makes almost as much sense as a uh, a magical a, a magical fountain. What I could do is I could just I could just put a box with like a mega elixir in it, my equivalent of. And if the player wants to use it, they could. I could just do that. But if you've been doing all the fighting, then you'd want to take the low moments. Repa repose. So, that's Malediction. Uh, Ozzy, I can't heal him until that wears off. And that goes for items, too. I toggled everything to being... I believe? Everything? Uh, ridiculous is what we're going for. There's an idea. I like that. But even though Homebrew won't heal Ozzy, They'll still inflict region. Well, that also clears it. Why you would not want to stealth your way through this at this point. Now, what I did want to do is... Pop inside here. What can we use for... Eating out of the garbage? Nah. Lore pig. What am I not looking for here? Well, this layer nicely. Oh. A you. Oh. We just put it in a box.
Eh, just to make it look nicer. Rather than just have it being another square shape. Rather than, you could, you could say that there is like inlets on this side. I can make an argument that there's inlets over here and here to get into the various like rooms of the tent. Did I adjust? Warcry actually hit everybody. And that was... I haven't seen that happen. Did I toggle? Did I switch toggle that at some point? 382. And 90%. Okay, let's toggle that a bit. Coin flip. And a physical attack, so you're you could dodge it. And this is a part that's meant for later in the game. Go explore some. Get another character. Right, so where we were actually in making Seville. So this was Pueblo Encanto. I don't know if I have a stun resistant. At one point, I was going to tack that on to something else. Is that how you spell absorption? I want to say. That looks weird. No, that's right. one is sold what flavor that is sold in London the oval in the mood that's fine at some point I will get a You only have two slots, so having accessories do multiple things makes them uh, that much more valuable. Oh, something I've been working on in a, pre in a previous session that I got working. Um, Pass counterattacking with a particular skill. So I've got this finally go set up to... someone I can control. Um, Sakura. Yeah, wear the Sage's Stone for a moment.
thought you were still here. Uh, just pop soccer, will ya? 20%. You, will it trigger on yourself? One moment. Get a bunch of enemies on screen. Get rid of this. So yeah, now she'll counterattack with wearing that accessory will make her counterattack with magic. I was having a really hard time getting that to actually work. The problem was I was putting anything on this. This doesn't matter. You could attack anything you want onto that. You need to have a state for countering and you need to when you're under this state, you counter with that. You need, I don't know which one worked, so I put the name and because it, the uh, actual like thing I read said put the name. I put both, and it ended up working. And all this does is give you the state, but once you have the state, like, you can make this a toggle. I could do that. Could actually figure this out. It's working as is. So eventually there'll be an accessory that'll give you a skill. The only thing is that you'd have to change this throughout so it would scale. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Some neat artwork. Slices that car in half. I missed it. Hold on. A very intricate system. Every time I see another one of your videos, that's a great background, too. That was a side thing, I got this to work. Every time. And that was taken forever to do to put that together. Oh yeah, I picked up oh yeah, whoops. Oh no. I've seen that I've I've heard of that anime. Gotta be sure to chop up them tentacles before they reach you. Now you need to actually be an item shop. Yeah, so it can be pretty basic on that. Are you still in production of that game? Alright, so this is a part in my script here that I have listed as uh, 
Act 2, Scene 5, and that's split into A, B, C, and D. Oh man, awesome. You also stream it. So I don't forget, let's go ahead and pop that open. Give that a follow so I don't so I'll be able to see that next time. There we go. So we have A, B, C, and D. I have a lot of work to do before we actually get to the real meat of that because Oh boy, now that you have the boat. Got Amsterdam to make, have Seville to finish, start to work on the others? That's Genoa, I need to do that, but all in all... Oh, thank you. Yeah, it definitely keeps me more focused when I stream it. Otherwise, I have all sorts of things going on and don't always get as much done as I'd like. Although some sessions I don't when I know I'm just going to be sitting down, tweaking numbers, punching in prices, figuring out how certain parts of the plugins work. Rome's going to have a part in the game, even though Rome was not present in the original. Naples. Yeah, and Europe's not to scale, and it's fine. It's is fantasy is I wanted to get a good scale of the Mediterranean and then had to work around the size I made the Mediterranean. On the size of the map that you could possibly make this. In width. Didn't need the full height. These are all gone now, now right? No. I have not actually cleared these out. Yeah, a lot of the game revolves. It's it's, a, it's the 1500s. It's Eurocentric. You have a relatively huge England compared to what would be France. And you could make a case that Iberia. We haven't touched the Americas yet. We will have to go there in the story, and that's when I will touch the Americas. Oh yeah, if this was real life, then we'd be looking at, like... I don't have a safe way to do it without messing everything up, but, like... It'd be something like... There is France. <laughs> you can't be like that. It's hard as an American to get a gauge in my head of the size of this. Because everything here is just so gargantuan. Right. Naples, you can go and buy the next tier of equipment for a lot of gold, 
or minimal gain, but if you're swimming in cash, it's there. So the idea for the, we have four parts to this go ahead and Joao is left he's following a lead in Egypt so we get to go make the pyramids follow his journey this is where we get the next permanent party member Auto grants the tier two uh, classes, which is a lot of what I've been doing is retweaking what I use for my formula I'm using for skills. It was not matching up with what I had previously for the next tier of wizard, cleric, wild man, and ranger. No longer berserker. It doesn't fit in the space allotted. Just like this druid was originally a different name that the viewers reminded me that there's a name for that elsewhere in English that meant something very different. So now it's a druid. We don't have to be that PC. <laughs> we do get female party members that can change classes. There will be permanent female late female female party members. I'm just debating whether or not she would be locked with up with others or if she'd be locked up in her own wild person <laughs> momentary interruption
a wild link. What is uh what is GOT? Game of Thrones. I have not watched Game of Thrones at all. I lied. I've seen one episode of Game of Thrones three times. Because every time it happened to be on TV when I was at someone's house, it happened to be the same episode. Where this very small man shoots someone while he's on the toilet. And that, that's, that's all I saw every time, so... Someday I'll watch it. So the now begins the nightmare of Here's what I need. I need this. Copy this, put this somewhere nearby. Look at both of those look so wrong. English is weird sometimes. As the hyphens come in as my hotkey for muting the microphone. On a side tangent, I bought a microphone stand for my mic my particular microphone, but apparently my microphone did not come with, or I did not notice in the packaging from a while ago, that uh, it's missing a piece to connect to the stand. So I have a nice stand now that clips onto the side of the desk. There's no way to attach it without... Because I could just like duct tape it together, but... Came with a cool sock for the microphone too. I don't know the recordings I listen to. This sounds sounds all right. It is rescuing, no E. It, it looks so weird. Yeah, I, I don't know anything. I, I work in medicine. I don't know how to spell. My handwriting is atrocious. 
Most of my Google search history is forever typing in words to see how things are spelled. Interesting that the the filter on the microphone is picking up some of the microphone, some of the keyboard strokes, but not others. <laughs> Could you imagine every time you open up the screen, it it says in full text, "wild person of non-specific gender." Appreciated your help at
We need to get him a new theme song. I have all these mus all this mu new music. We've only ever seen Otto with others doing his own thing. The first time we've got a chance to really exchange pleasantries. Well, I have an idea for this one. Mm. Got that down. are not all tuned to the same level of volume. Hero story ends. Forget the name. Another word that just doesn't look right, but 
spelled right. Suspicion. There we go, would you be willing to search in my stead?
I've never noticed this box before. Never noticed it. Thousands. Thousands. What was I trying to say? A thousand hours of this program. Thousand fifty seven hours of this program. I'm still noticing things on the UI for the first time. They were having a sale this weekend to date this video. Here the week after following uh, the eighth of May. Eighty per sixty to eighty percent off all these. Never noticed this note box before. nice. I like it. Never noticed it before, but it's there. All of that for if you say no. If you say yes, jump straight to this. Hey, are you still there, Hunt and Swan? You have left. I'm curious, to, to mention he mentioned was a Brit. I'm curious if they actually say brilliant.
there'll actually be a lot going on in this prison because depending on how far you are in A, B, C, or D, there will be an additional cutscene here. Like an additional scene here. Like if you get the next part of permanent party member, then they will have things to say to Catalina. He is required for post A. So you could do B first, and then A can flow from one to the other. It's up to the player. this goes. If I remember how this went. If I want to unlock class 6, 7, 8, and 9. Conditional here. I don't suppose I could add it to people who aren't here, and they'll just have it when it pops. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna need two of these. I right, set JP for one, which is William. Two twenty-five for class six. You, have, you, get, you get a free skill in each of these. Seven, eight, and nine. Same for Jeffrey. And I don't want it to be one tier is ex is flat out better than the next, because bear in mind at this point in the game, in my run-throughs where I have not done fairly much actual fighting, we have all of four skills, which is half. And some are just incredible. Some are very expensive for when you'd be there. Kind of encourage you to come back to it. And there's no downside to swapping back and forth, as per the situation requires. So I sidetracked myself. Now, Raja, there we have you. You were in Basra. Basra?
You're number 15. Fifteen, four, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. The next will be the next permanent party member, which don't want to spoil it too much. But I guess this will if you were paying attention. If you are pay if you were paying attention, you can if you don't care about spoilers, you can just nudge back the bar. See who 22 is lined up to. If you're watching later on the on the YouTube. And actually every person gets their own specialized thing. Eight would be the one for two skills for that fella. Or fellow in Felly. That lassie. Don't get another party party member here, so. And actually, I would need to. Actually, would need to double back and give them the original classes as well, JP. Game a moment to process that before. Jumping ahead, and that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great.
Then we would need the tutorial zone for these four classes. Or, yeah, no. That's fine. Tutorial zone for those classes. Benefit you to be able to Back to you. Before we go any further, let's see how any of that does or does not work. There's a bill. that to go. That would be humorous. Last time you got classes, my tutorial jester dragged you across the map to a house. 
However, dragging to the It Cafe would be too far. But, he starts down there, and I can make the other person be over here and would be safe to have drag you into the well. There's an idea. You should not be moving. Sit still, sir. That's what Duke Fre that's what Duke Ander was referring to. And he said she kept slipping from his grasp. Because one goes right into the other, I'm just going to say no first. It will aid you in your. You need some kind of uplifting music at the upgrade here. See how much I messed this up. Oh, this is unlocked properly. Twenty five, twenty five. Good. Proper. Good. Don't have skills. Haven't finished this yet. It does did all of these work. Bye. 
Now, for... The thing about this one is that wizard and cleric, they're not mutually exclusive. You learn a cleric spell. You can use it as a wizard. I could change this, but currently liking it as is. has more HP, higher agility and luck, lower magic attack. So a wizard is just better overall using magic, but isn't as frail, but is more frail. And they can use rods and Wizard can use rods and knives. Cleric, on the other hand, uses... Well, uses flails, which we don't have any of. Rangers use bows or knives. You don't even use knives, huh? So I need... Out of... Plus music here. Something a bit more uplifting. What you got for uplifting? Show me uplifting. This is cute. Her something to say, because you would be able to talk to her at this one event.
So let me know what people think about Cleric and Wizard sharing a skill pool. I'd have no problem flipping it... Oh, they both use rods. I'd have no problem flipping it over. Like making black and white magic separate. But to learn one, you have to be in the class. So if you wanted to make a sage wizard, you have to really invest into doing both. I feel like if you want to do the payoff, it's there. I almost want to make Cleric the better wizard. Or MP for the healer. Yeah, tiny frail man. Or lady.
We'll worry about the in and out once we make it.
all that. Make sure it doesn't activate now. Huge on how this looks. Right. Well, that works at least. That might look a little better, I think. I think. One way to find out. supposed to be waiting for a button to put. What am I doing wrong here? How about I just grab there? Rip from Maybe I was doing something weird there. Well, go away, you. There we go. Thank you. 
always feels good to make lists so you can cross things off. How long have we been going at this point? Long enough that I got actually some stuff done. The first thing you'd want to do, you'd muck about and probably head to Lisbon first. This is the dude tell, tells you about the new world. Also says Joao is out for the east. I think that's good for a session. Thanks for stopping by. I hope y'all have a great day.